And here we have Loco Doll. And in this anime, you pretty much have this main character who is Nanako. And she's, you know, a high school student who is in a town that's not very large. It doesn't have a huge amount of people in it. And she basically wants to go swimming with her friends because they're, they're like they just remodeled their local pool and she wants to be with her friends and, and go, you know go swimming and but she, but the problem is she needs money for her swimsuit and her parents is, you know they're not just gonna simply give her the money because the swimsuit is gonna cost like over 3,000 yen and, and she has to earn it basically so her uncle gives her a job and he pretty much tricks her into accepting the job and she kind of had no choice anyway but, uh, <laughs> The job is basically to be a, a local idol, thus local doll. So, um, she always wanted to be an idol, but to actually be doing it was like kind of like a shocker for her. But you know, she was paid up front, so she had to go along and do it. So she she gave it a try with her partner Yukari, and uh. They actually, you know, do the, the event, and she makes all these mistakes, and <laughs> she feels like she failed, but Yukari kind of, like, backs her up and, like, fixes things, and, and pretty much did most of the work, and, you know, kept her afloat, and then they started singing, which made it a success, but... That's basically how the uh, show basically begins and ends. It, it kind of tells you her story and a little bit about her friends and how their town is very small and they're trying to revitalize the town and get more people to move here and bring more money to the town and stuff like that. And her uncle came up with this local idol like you know, idea so that they can draw in more people. And so, you know, she becomes the local idol, of course, and you can tell from the next episode and then on that that's what she's going to be doing. She's going to be working with Yukari throughout the, uh, this anime and and you'll see her life as a, a idol now instead of just a high school student and of course uh, Yukari also goes to the same school so <laughs> it, it's just it's convenient but yeah there you have it so uh, when I watched it it wasn't bad I normally don't watch idol anime but it wasn't all that bad so uh, you should give it a watch and see if you like it Alright, and here we have Sere Sukai No Blade Dance. And, uh, this one, you know, from the description that I saw, it was gonna be like a harem, you know, romance with comedy type of anime. And I'm sure all that is in, but it actually was a lot more interesting than I thought it'd be because usually if it's like a harem I'm gonna lose interest because it's, it's usually like scene one scene them all <laughs> and uh, I, I always like comedy so when I watched this I thought ah, I probably won't be all that good but um, the fact that the guy <laughs> the only male in this whole anime that I've seen, or at least from the first episode that I've seen, though, um, he himself made me like actually watch it. Like he kept me interested, <laughs> which is kind of surprising because I really thought I'd be 
board and that I wouldn't really like it but um basically the intrigue behind his story is what you know caught me I'm, I'm, I know the other characters have things that they're trying to do too but I just wanted to know what his reasons for even being there was and his history with the headmaster uh, of the school and yeah there, there's a school it's just <laughs> the school is basically to teach the spirit elementalist and the main character which is uh, actually you know I, I, I don't even know if the guy would be the main character or the girl because <laughs> it, you know what it reminds me of it, it kind of reminds me of that one anime uh, Shakugan no Shana yeah that's it that's what I was thinking about it kind of reminded me of that seeing uh, the main character who is Kazehaya Kamito and the girl is named Claire Rouge but I'm not sure if that's like her real name or whatever but uh they are the main characters to me like there's other characters that they'll introduce but I have a feeling it'll be like really centered around those two which kind of which is probably the reason why it reminded me of Shakugan no Shana <laughs> but uh yeah so he is like and this is kind of this is kind of weird to me, but it starts this anime off with him like at the at the like lake, and Claire's like bathing right there, and I'm like, okay, how did this happen? <laughs> like right off the bat, they didn't show him like stumble up there; he's just already there. <laughs> but anyway, uh. He he basically was on his way to their academy or their school to train uh, elementalists, and they're all females. So, um, all of them are like princesses and nobles and stuff like that. And males typically don't become elementalists. It, they, it's like largely believed that only females can, but the most dangerous one like that they know in their history was a male elementalist so <laughs> I'm not sure why they believe that but okay um but this Claire is trying to be like powerful and she finds a spirit which they uh get into a contract with so that they can you know work together or whatever but this one, this spirit was sealed, and as uh, Kazehaya ex explained, that the sealed ones are so dangerous that they try to kill their own masters as well. <laughs> but she didn't heed his warnings, and he just tagged along because he probably knew that she was just too weak to handle the situation, which he was right, and he was forced to take. Uh, the spirit as his own like like he had to get in a contract with it and that's basically where that whole story truly begins he he comes to the school and he's like a student now <laughs> and you probably know the rest from there but yeah I, I'm just curious uh, what's his story because uh, they hold these blade dancer like tournaments and to see who's the strongest elementalist or something and uh someone he has some sort of uh history with uh won the last one so he wants to go and fight her so uh this ran ash bell who won the last one but uh I, I can see some other interesting things happening in the next episode. So I thought it was, you know, pretty good. Uh, you'll have to watch it and tell me if you think otherwise. But I suggest you give it a watch and, and then see for yourself. 
And here we have Roko Juma no Shinya Kusha. And uh, I couldn't compare this anime to anything, so I would just say that uh, this anime is ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. I mean, you have this main character, uh, and his name is uh, Kotaro, and he moves into this op small apartment for 5,000 yen per month, and it's cheap, so he he's thinking like this is his, you know, great fortune to find like an apartment so cheap. And he's like a high school student, and he's he's already living on his own, and you know he he has a job, and you know everything will be great, right? But unfortunately, there's always a downside, and uh, the downside for Kataro is basically the fact that he's his his apartment is like at first haunted by a ghost that is trying to drive him out of his house you know and at first he tried to you know keep him from sleeping and she made everything like bang and everything rock in his house and he <laughs> he didn't wake up at all he slept through the whole thing so uh that didn't work, so she tried to come up with a new idea, but uh, he came in as she is making her plot to get him out of the house, and, and, and this is where it kind of gets ridiculous, because you're following Kotaro's like, story, and you see how, he's, how he got there in the first place, but a lot of weird things is happening, like, all around Kataro, for one, like when he goes to school, someone is, is, is like following him. He fell in a huge hole at work, and all this weird weirdness of that going on when that happened. And, and now he's dealing with a ghost, <laughs> and to make things worse, while he's trying to deal with this ghost and get her out of the house. Uh, some like magical girl comes in <laughs> and you know they, they don't even take her seriously and then it doesn't stop there they're all fighting for control of this house but or this apartment but uh, then an uh, underground like wolf like shrine maiden or whatever comes in <laughs> she wants his, uh, his apartment to build a shrine and like invade the earth and whatnot, <laughs> and then another one shows up. And she's like some princess of another like uh, dimension or something, and it's like all these people are showing up wanting control of this one room. <laughs> so it, it <laughs> there's no amount of explanation that could make me understand any of that, but. <laughs> I can tell like this anime is probably filled with a lot of comedy. I don't know if it ends up being a harem because every single one that showed up to, to his apartment room was all girls, but I don't know, but yeah, I could definitely see it being filled with comedy if they're all trying to take this room. And this is a smaller room, so it makes me wonder like why they even want this room. <laughs> but <laughs> Uh, explanations is thrown out the window, so I I, I can have to I, I'll have to basically accept it that I'm not gonna get any real explanation from this anime. But <laughs> there's quite a few anime that do that, so it is what it is. But I suggest you watch it and enjoy it. And so, there you have it, and sorry it took a while to release this video, but expect another to be released, and uh, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.